So when Betsy puts the forecast up, are you looking for the snow or are you looking for the sunshine? <laughs> I think it depends on what you want, yeah. right? The skiers. The kids are looking, and the skiers, yes. And the teachers and the kids. No. They'll take the snow. You are looking for? I'm looking for sunshine because I need people to smile at me again. Oh, It's not your fault. <laughs> Thank you. I will take you. all it's not sympathy. Her fault. I will take all sympathy, absolutely. I tell you what, it is tough this time of the year. The Cleveland crud is set in over us. We yeah. have the clouds, we have the drizzle and fog and yuck. But every now and again, some things line up and we get to squeeze out some sunshine. That is what's in the forecast as we head to the weekend. For now, though, it's more of the same. We do have a little chance for a rain and or snow shower to pass through. We'll have some drizzle and, yeah, some areas of fog as temperatures dip back toward the freezing mark by early morning. We'll start the day tomorrow right around 30. Our rain and snow that's out to the west of us is already breaking up. This is right on track with what uh, the forecast models have been showcasing. Although we do have some heavier showers coming down now at around Vermilion. You head out toward Amherst and Oberlin and then farther south through Berlin Heights into portions of uh, New London and straight down south into Richland County, Ashland County too. Just some scattered showers. Uh, there's a lot of dry air in place over northern Ohio. So as we have this little wave of energy associated with a clipper system, fast moving area of low pressure, it's rotating through the Ohio Valley. The northern fringes of this, which we are on, is kind of falling apart at this point. So we are anticipating to see more and more dissipation out of those showers as the evening goes on, but we can't completely rule out any kind of a shower activity through the rest of the evening. The good news is tomorrow we will be staying dry. We'll still have a lot of clouds around and it may feel a little bit damp in the area, but the big picture shows there's not anything immediately on our doorstep to the west. This doesn't necessarily mean it's great news in the near term. Let me sh set this up for you. Look at this storm system off the West Coast. This thing is a big one, and it is going to bring a lot of problems to areas of the West Coast. Another atmospheric river setting up on the south end of this, so it's going to be shooting a lot of rain and snow into the Intermountain West. More importantly, that is indicative of low pressure in the upper parts of the atmosphere, too. So if we start to kind of connect the clouds, which you all know I love to do, uh, you can kind of see how we get this little ridge that builds in here. Ridges are are very big bubbles of high pressure and oftentimes they bring warmer air. We do have warm air that is set up across the plain states at this point. And then of course we come back to our clipper which is in the low uh, pressure side of things. So you get this bump and then a valley, a ridge and a trough. This is called a blocking pattern. We talked a little bit about this yesterday and what this does is it gets things very congested in the overall movement of the atmosphere. For those of you who like to have uh, just a very relatable way of thinking about things. It's constipated in the atmosphere. It's not moving quickly. It is very backed up. And that is not very good news for us until it does become good news for us. And that is because the blocking pattern off the East Coast is slowing down the progression of storm systems from the West. Meanwhile, those Western storm systems are still coming at us. Low pressure storm systems means rising air in the atmosphere. All of that air has to go somewhere, and oftentimes it will begin to funnel into a central point, which just so happens to set up this weekend over the Ohio Valley. So we will have sunshine to talk about for Saturday, and the best news is we also get it into Sunday, so it's a twofer. Drizzle and fog possible tonight. Yeah, we could have some icy spots in the morning, especially on uh, steps and decks as you step out the door, or if you park your car outside, you may need to plan a couple extra minutes just in case we have uh, some ice that's built up on your windshield. In the National Design, our hour-by-hour -hour forecast, the rain and snow that's been around this evening to the west dissipates big time and by tomorrow morning we will have cloudy skies temperatures right around freezing so that's why there's just that light, light chance that we could have some uh, scraping possible tomorrow morning by midday we're in the mid 30s and in the afternoon upper 30s to near 40 degrees once again but it does not look like we are going to break out of the clouds until we get into the squeeze play by this weekend here's your union home mortgage forecast mid 40s a little rain snow around on Thursday we'll start to clear out Friday and then look at that sunshine for Saturday and for Sunday, and we're going to continue with some nice weather into the early part of next week.